other areas where you can be influential. I'm not gonna go through all of that. You have the list, okay? But the how, you have to know what you believe in. Are any of you sitting there saying, I don't even know where to influence? I mean, where do I even begin, Joan? What do you believe in? See, I believed assistants deserve training. I believed it. I believe it to this very day. It's at the core of my soul. When you believe in something, it's not so hard. But the hard part might be figuring out what you believe in. Then you've got to act. But there are steps before acting. We're going to talk about some other steps. But you can't sit there, and a year from now, you're saying you're thinking about the same thing. Do you know how many people, how many even uh, speakers or, or people who are out there training, and I hear them talking about their dreams and their first book, and I see them a year later, and I'm like, did you do your book yet? Oh, no, not really yet, but they want to go influence the world. You know, write your book. Just act. Be yourself. You know, that's important to be you. You can obviously tell by now I'm myself, right? This is Joan. This is what you get, guys. <laughs> you know, I don't need to win everyone's approval. I used to in the early days, you know, as a speaker, you want everybody in the room to be happy, and you get one little nix, and oh my God, I couldn't sleep. You know, I really don't care anymore other than I care about the people who want to learn because they're going to learn. And those who don't, I can't help you. And that's such a good place to be because I can be myself. Be yourself. Be transparent. Many of you know me, I'm very transparent. My life's an open book, pretty much. But, but why do we hide, you know? Maybe you're afraid you're gonna be judged. So I think one thing, you know, with assistance, and maybe you have ideas and there's things you wanna change, but you're, we get afraid of, well, what if they shoot me down? Or if I present that idea to management, I might, I might get embarrassed because they're gonna think it's stupid, right? But you know, it's okay to just say, I'm really nervous. It's okay to say, I'm really nervous about presenting this information to you and the research that I did, but I really believe that this will help our company or help our team or help our department. Continually develop your skills and your knowledge. Because as you read, as you learn, as you hear our speakers, like yesterday, I told you I'm the student. I keep adding to my bag. I have this little invisible bag of skills. You can't see it because it's invisible. But since I got out of high school, I carry that bag around. After 52 years, the bag's getting heavy. But every day, I add something in that bag. I may not need it today. But you know what, I might need it six months from now. And I could at least say, yeah, you know, I heard something about that. Now I better dig into it. Every day. Build connections. All right, this is a hard one. When you're living in the world we live in today, um, and that's the caution, you know, that just popped up. But I want to talk about connections a minute. I mean real connections. It's not just getting a bunch of business cards or being in a bunch of LinkedIn groups who you never really talk to or connect with. It's just to say, oh, you know how many groups I belong to? 42. How many do you have? Oh, 20. Oh. I don't care if you have two. If you make real connections, connect with people on an emotional level. Do you know what, Josephine? I know, I'm calling you out, Josephine, because where you stand up, my beautiful new friend. I met at APC in Orlando in September. 
I wanted to hear her. I wanted to go there. <laughs> Lo and behold, uh, so what had happened, I think it was the day or two before, I saw her on social media. She had our book, The Executive's Edge. And I'm thinking, how did she get that book? We just got inventory yesterday in our office. Where did she get that book? So I wanted to, I was going to try to reach out to her. So then I took off for the conference, the APC conference in Orlando, awesome time. And I, we heard our opening speaker, right? And then the next speaker was coming up and I'm just sitting there at a room full for like 1,500 people. And I hear this voice behind me. And she said, do you mind if I sit there next to you? I'm like, no. She sat down. I looked at her. She, I'm ready to introduce her. She, she looks at me. She goes, are you Joan? Are you Joan Burge? I'm like, yeah. I said, are you Josephine? <laughs> She's the one who bought my book. And we hung out the whole two days. We connected, we genuinely enjoyed each other. We even went to dinner together. We've stayed connected ever since because we wanted to. That's a genuine connection. And we will be friends, I imagine, for a very long time. So be real, be sincere, make genuine connections. Now, like I said, you're the caution, the hard part, you're in a remote world. You're trying to connect via phones and screens and people are all over the place. So it's hard enough to make connections. It's really hard when you're not in the same place and you're not with each other. So that's something you've got to figure out. And you can do it, and that would probably be a whole other hour session you know, because there's ways we do it, but you're going to, that's your homework assignment. You've got to stay connected. You've got to show that you care. You have to respond to people. You know what I love to do too? Just send a text to somebody even an early, I know it's a text, but I can't reach everybody by phone. Say, hey, I'm thinking of you this morning and I hope you have an awesome day.